Panthers rookie Matt Corral is done for the season with a foot injury. I'm going to go into what this injury is, what caused it, and how exactly this relates to Napoleon. So first off, for those of you who don't know, Matt Corral is the rookie quarterback for the Carolina Panthers. He was drafted in the third round from Ole Miss this past year. He finished seventh in the Heisman voting. One of the really cool things that he did was play in the Sugar Bowl whenever Ole Miss uh, was already out of contention for the college football playoffs. A lot of people thought he was going to skip the game in order to make sure he didn't get injured, and that would affect his draft status. He ended up actually getting injured in that game. It made it much more difficult for him to prepare for the draft and ultimately potentially cost him some draft position. All right, we're going to go ahead and play the video and react to this. And you can see why so many guys get injured. Everybody diving at their legs all the time. Didn't really see too much there on the first one. I know it's his left foot after reading the news stories. So this guy comes in, doesn't look like he gets him. Then kind of spins around here, so it looks a little funny, but right there. Oh, okay, you can see that left foot give out. For a second, it almost looked like his ankle, but I think his foot took the, yeah, you can see it there. Yeah, that's got to be an incredibly painful injury. So this is an injury at the tarsal metatarsal joint. I'm going to pop a picture right here for you. This joint is at the arch of your foot, and it's where all the small bones in your foot meet the long bones of your foot. And there's a lot of ligament connections there in order to maintain all of the weight that you carry around. So you can imagine that if this joint is put in a bad position, and then somebody else loads on top of it, that this could cause a lot of issues. And that's exactly what happened to him here. You can almost see that he's in a tippy toe position. I'm going to go ahead and stop uh, the film and put a picture of it right here. You can see the position that he has his foot in is on almost like a tippy toed type position. And there's like a twisting pressure being put on it. This is where that joint essentially gets pulled apart. You get damage to ligaments. You can get fractures on the bones and you can get a lot of issues. The difference between an injury like this and a muscular injury is the recovery and the ability of ligaments to recover versus the ability of muscles to recover. Muscles have a lot of blood flow to them. So when you have a strain or a tear of a muscle, it tends to heal a lot faster and muscle strains as a result only result in missed time of about a few weeks. Whereas a tear of a ligament, now that doesn't heal well and it results in uh, months to heal. So what does that mean for Matt Corral here in his left foot? Well, we're talking about a six month recovery if he didn't get surgery. But as it turns out, it looks like he is getting surgery. So he's gonna have about a 12 month recovery. Sometimes the damage to that joint is so severe and it's so disrupted that they actually have to surgically stabilize it, which sounds like what he's gonna have. What does this have to do with Napoleon? Well, the Liz Franck joint or this tarsal metatarsal joint got its name from a surgeon during the Napoleonic times. During the Napoleonic Wars, there was a lot of soldiers that would get injured from falling off of horses. And when their foot was tucked in the stirrup, it would torque their foot at the tarsal metatarsal joint whenever they'd fall off the horse. The result was injuries there. And a lot of times this resulted back then in gangrene of the feet. There was a surgeon named Jacques Lisfranc de Saint Martin. He was a surgeon and a gynecologist at the time, and he would perform amputations at the tarsal metatarsal joint, which resulted in this being named the Liz Franck joint. So the result is that Matt Corral is going to essentially miss a year. He's definitely going to be out for this season, and it could impact his start to training camp and even the start of next season.